Hello everyone, welcome back again to JJ Reviews. As you will see, I have uploaded a Call of Duty Modern Warfare game plan review of what I think of the game. The map I was playing was at Ramza and it was a uh, kill confirmed. So it's a, it's a bit of a double one, so I've uploaded that, and in today's episode, it's on the S10, Samsung Galaxy S10, yeah. It comes in three different ones, you've got the normal standard S10, you've got the S10 Plus, so you have a double camera on the front here, as you can see, it's just one little hole punch, but in the S10 Plus, it's a double one, it's a more longer one. And as well, you've got the S10e, which is the exact same. So, as you can see, obviously you've got that hole punch look. Now, for me, when depending on the wallpaper you've, wallpaper you've got, as you can say, this is the standard wallpaper the phone comes with when you set it up, or it could be other ones. But those wallpapers do help, sorry about that. They do help with the hole punch look. So as you can see, if you're looking at it, you can't really, really see it properly when you're using the phone. It's more hidden. It's not so much visible. But say when you're going on stuff, I don't know. Um, what did she say? Say you load up the Play Store. As you can see, you can see it a bit more. It doesn't affect it that much. With you, obviously, you've still got the Wi Fi logo, signal bar, battery percentage, and then the battery icon itself. Other than that, there's no problem, I don't see any problem with it. I think the whole punch is a nice new look, it shows more display of the screen and everything like that, so it goes more higher. You've also got where it's that edge type of look as well with the edge lighting and obviously this has the one UI with it so when you drag down you can bring it more. It just usually it used to be like that so it'd be harder for your user interface for your one hand to sort of move about so this way when you're bringing it down you bring it down more and you've got more accessibility from that one user interface basically and also with the S10 a nice cool added feature to it is the wireless power share so as you see now it's got power mode on so battery saving because I'm 23% if there was another S10 I would be able to connect it up so just here obviously this is my note so if I go like that, it would power share, but obviously this doesn't have power, wireless power sharing capabilities, unlike the S10. So if there was another S10, I would be able to tap it on the other one, like back to back, and connect it that way. The, let's show you guys on there. So you see, if you do software update, the last one was the 24th of November, so software is up to date. Uh, about the phone uh, software information as you can see it has that one UI version 1.1 and the Android version is 9 if you keep tapping that you've got the Pi Android Pi and everything like that that little secret thing you do when you hit return it does a different colour other than that I think the phone's really good I don't have, I think it's brilliant, the phone, it looks amazing, obviously there's a case on it at the moment, you've got three cameras at the back with a flash, the third one is a 16 megapixel, so the last one, 16 megapixel ultra wide camera, the second one is a 12 megapixel wide angle camera, and obviously the main first one is a 12 megapixel telephoto camera and 
on here as well, if any of you guys did not realise, I didn't realise properly, is that all the S10, so S10, S10, E and S10 Plus, all have standard a screen protector already on it. Now, if you have to, obviously you won't really see it properly on the video, but if you can see where the camera is at an angle or so, I can see it more easier, but this is being recorded on my iPad for you guys. But it has a screen protector already on it, which is a very good thing that Samsung have done. Well, they've added obviously that because I guess they don't want it to be damaged, the screen or anything like that. Don't worry about that, it was just a notification. Other than that, it's very good in that way. Video recording, you can record in 4K Ultra HD at 60 frames a second, which is brilliant, or 1080p for full HD. Still again at 60 frames a second. And then if you want the lower one, 720 HD and that's 30 but other than that it's still br brilliant with how the phone is on the S10 it's a 3400 milliamp battery still it lasts you can get a good what two or three days out of this phone if you're using it a lot charging is obviously it has fast charging capabilities on wireless charging it comes it also has as well the super fast charging comparable with a power adapter that comes with it obviously standard usb type c and does still have a 3.5 miller millimeter headphone jack so i still like that and as well this does have 5g capability it's uh this model is 128 gigabyte internal storage with 8 gigabyte of ram so it you know it's gonna load everything very quickly no word about it it has the difference is it has a it has a micro sd slot as well and some of the models do have a dual sim not heard of a hybrid slim slot. I think that's something a bit more different. Obviously Android 9. Uh, it's water resistant. Up to 1.5 meters of water. So it can only, what they say, Samsung themselves. It's up to 30 minutes where it can do that. Obviously the fingerprint now. Where... On the note, like mine here quickly, the fingerprint's there, where on the S10s now, it's on the screen, and it is very responsive. Obviously, if your fingers are a little bit, you know, sweaty, sometimes mine are, or if there's dust on them or water, it's not going to pick it up properly unless it's clean. Obviously, you still got the... Volume up, volume down, and as usual, the big speed button. Shame that can't be changed just yet. I'm sure in time it will be changed. So some you can, you know, push that button and you can open, say, your WhatsApps, Instagram, YouTube, or so on. Like what the power button, if you double click that, obviously the camera opens, which is a cool feature. It was already there, but it's just easier. I find as well, obviously, you've got that edge screen. So if you see here, I don't know about that, it's just Black Friday deals. As you know, today on the 29th of Black Friday, you're able to link this to Windows. So you see here, you've got the edge light in. So when a message pops up, say your phone's like that, or it's flat, you can see on the corner, it starts lighting up. Oh, nice little feature. I've got that on my phone currently. 
Um, other than that, obviously the when you get this phone it comes with a quick start guide, an ejector pin for your SIM, earphones by AKG which are a very good brand. Very good, I have to admit it's foam. It has a it's powered with a octa core, two point seventy three gigahertz dual core. Uh, M4 Mongoose plus a two point thirty one gigahertz dual core Cortex A seventy five plus a one point ninety five gigahertz quad core Cortex A fifty five processor. It runs on the Samsung's Exynos. If that's how it's said when you look in quickly, nine Exynos nine octa nine eight two o chipset, and obviously it's a eight gigabyte RAM with one hundred twenty eight gigabyte internal storage, but can also be increased. There's one that's a different model, five hundred twelve gigabyte, but you can put a micro SD card to enhance it and add more memory to it. It has a dynamic AMOLED display giving all those beautiful colours. As you can see here with the wallpaper and everything like that. For me in 2019 now this phone is very very nice with how it's gone now. I like the look of obviously this. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry about that. This one is in prism white. You can get in prism bright, black, sorry, prism green. There's more if you want to check that out on Samsung's website. I think in 2009, this is a very good phone to own. Me, I personally do love Samsung itself with their open for how open they are with say downloading music movies there's a lot more you can do on android devices where on apple devices it's more secure i'm not saying samsung ain't but the iphone you have to buy stuff on there and connect it all onto the computer in that way where on samsung you can do it so much easier all via the phone you don't need to be connecting it here and there unless you want to transfer photos, videos, or your contacts through the cable directly. Completely up to you. But I would definitely recommend this phone. It does cost quite a bit to start with. It may have gone down today on the Black Friday deals if you want to check it out. Or sign up to a good phone deal. When it first was released, it was just over a thousand pounds in UK currency. Uh, other than that, if I hope you enjoy this video, please comment on whatever you would like me to do next. Whether it's some gameplay on the PS4, any more reviews you'd like to see me do, or even gameplay on the phones and how it can handle games for the S10 or again on my iPad or on my Note 8 that I'm currently using now. So yeah, read all your comments. Don't forget, forget to leave a like so I know you've enjoyed it. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned for any more videos that I'll do so you're updated. I'm just interested if you guys do the notification bell just to see when I upload it comes up and pops up to you if you do that's brilliant I'm happy that you're interested but as always don't forget to subscribe I hope you enjoy the video take care